Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. And the elementary of its team uh, posted a new article on Medium uh, while I was asleep, because of course I live in France and this is not the same time zone, so when they post stuff I'm asleep, and I, when I post stuff you are asleep. They have exposed a few graphical changes that come to Juno and I think that's pretty exciting, so I'm gonna detail them with you uh, while uh, looking at the article. So the first thing they've announced is the expanded and refined color palette. Uh, that means that they have defined specific colors and specific shades of colors that you can use uh, for your icons, for your application uh, theme, and for all the good stuff that you're using in your apps when you're developing them. Uh, but also, uh, uh, it's going to be included as a standard color palette in the system. So that means that you can use those shades of colors directly with Inkscape and GIMP, which is a pretty good thing, because those colors look, look pretty crisp and uh, pretty modern, I think. The shades are nice. And uh, I think it's going to be a great addition. So this expanded palette also made them change a lot of icons, apparently. Uh, they have changed over 850 icon files. Uh, so there are redesigns, new icons, and they have updated icons to take advantage of the new palette. Uh, so as you can see, for example, this ebook icon has been migrated to the new green palette, which is uh, way, way, way more uh, vibrant and way more colorful. They changed the style sheets uh, of the apps. If you don't know about that, uh, know that GDK is the, the library used to build applications in elementary OS. It is also the library used for, for example, for GNOME applications or the GNOME desktop. And it is using CSS, just like on the web, to design applications. So you have to write a style sheet for your theme. And the style sheet has been completely changed since they migrated from GDK 3.18 to GDK plus 3.22, uh, which apparently had them remake the whole style sheet. So they're explaining that they have done a few changes as well since they were redoing the whole style sheet. They added a few things. So they added higher contrast. So the text should be more legible, which uh, is nice. It's going to be a little bit darker, the icons as well. And the gradients will be more subtle throughout the whole window. So of course, on this uh, little uh, screenshot i don't think we can really see the difference but uh, i guess we'll notice it a little bit more in juno while using it uh, they also created some special classes for new app devel developed uh, by uh, elementary os developers uh, so the dot terminal class the dot accent class and the dot mode switch class the mode switch class reduces the size of the switch to match the 16 pixel icons uh, so that means you can have smaller switches if you need to uh, so switches would be those things. You also have accent colors, uh, which means that if your app has a different accent color than the system, for example, your app uses green, well, the buttons and the controls will be styled with this color as well. So that means you can be more consistent in the way your, uh, your elementary OS designed app look. Of course, that's only interesting for developers. And so you can now build some stuff like colored scales, uh, like the one they will use for the nightlight uh, functionality in the system. Uh, so you can do that in your app. So I guess we should expect more uh, specific app center apps uh, with more design and uh, more features in them, which look a little bit more distinct, uh, which is a, always a nice thing. And finally, they have updated uh, the wallpaper selection. So here are a few samples of the wallpapers that they've added. So they are apparently from Unsplash. So those are nice, but nothing groundbreaking here. I've always put my own wallpapers myself, such as this one, which I took as a picture last week with my phone, and I think it looks fantastic, so I put it on my desktop. Of course, other changes, 650 closed issues in the Juno beta. Uh, still no release date, though. Uh, this is <laughs> starting to get a little bit long since uh, Ubuntu has announced 18.04.1. Uh, uh, we usually see the releases of elementary OS around this kind of Ubuntu 0.1 release. So I guess we can hope to have that pretty soon. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, of course, I'll link the original Medium article in the description down below so you can check out what I left out in this video. And uh, I just wanted to add a little something. Uh, my release schedule uh, has been uh, fixed. 
so now I will release a new Switchers Guide video every Tuesday and uh, every Friday and a gaming video, currently The Witcher or Soulstorm, every uh, Wednesday and every Saturday. Uh, of course, since they posted this uh, Juno video uh, right here and there, I will post that today and the Switcher's Guide video will be up tomorrow and the Soulstorm video will be up on Sunday. So there you go guys, uh, thank you for watching and goodbye. If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.